Oh, dude with a dog on his bike. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully one of those will come out. Okay guys, how we doing? Back for yet another video downtown Indianapolis. It's, uh, well I thought last time we were doing this it was going to be the last warm day of the year, but it turned out we had one more warm day and a sunny day at that. It's a Thursday afternoon, not incredibly lively, but it uh, there, there are quite a few people down here. So again, typically when you do street photography, you don't want a ton of people anyway, because if you have mobs of people, then you can't pick individuals out of that, that, that those mobs. So, you know, if you got a ton of people walking down the street, it's, it's you know, you're gonna have a bunch of other people in the shot. I like it when there's only one person, a single individual in the shot, unless it's a situation where we are gonna have, a, you know, two people or whatever on purpose. So, uh, again, uh, it doesn't really bother me. You just gotta walk a lot. It's great for exercise. And, uh, you know, you just gotta look for those shots. And basically, even the, what I would call boring people like me, um, would be an interesting shot just because, ooh, look, it's somebody and you can take that photo. So again, by the way, snap, fo uh, snap focus on the Rico. It's very simple. I do not use the full press method. I actually go into the AF mode and change that to snap only. That way there is no focusing. When you half press the shutter, it's not focusing at all. Uh, you've got to basically, you got to push all the way down on it. But it doesn't, I don't like the original way of using snap focus where you uh, if you go down halfway, it engages autofocus. If you snap all the way without doing the mid whatever, then you get snap. And it just, it, it's, it's, I never know. I, I don't like it. I can't even describe it. So go into your settings under autofocus, change it down to snap focus and, or snap, I think is just what they call it. And then you change your meter. My meter's at 1.5 and that allows me with F9 on the aperture, and at, at 400th of a second, it allows me to get anywhere from about um, three feet to around 15 to 18 feet. That's what I've looked up and found out. So that works out great for me because I don't need all the buildings and everything completely sharp in the background, as I've said on other videos. Hopefully that, that helps you out with your snap focus. You can also use the back shutter, uh, touch shutter for snap focus, but I don't see the point in that. That would be more awkward for me than, than just using the shutter. I don't mind people seeing me shoot it. I don't care that my thumb, is, I mean, you just, it, it's not that big a deal. It seems like it'd be more awkward to actually be constantly touching the back of the camera. That'd be fine if you're sitting on a bus, if you're somewhere and you want to be slick about it and all that, it certainly has its uses. On the street though, it's easier to me just use the shutter as I have in all of my videos. Okay guys, that's gonna do it. Let's get into the video and hope you enjoy this one. Take care. Okay, so we are back downtown Indianapolis and again with the Rico GR3 and I've got some modifications Of course always want to make sure you're aware of and that would be the JJC thumb grip that pops off right there And you're able to slide it right in there and that uh, enables you to hold the camera like this So that you're not pushing on any of the dials or anything like that So you can hold it like this if you're normally taking photos uh, typically, I will use it if I'm shooting like this when I want to shoot somebody over this way. Um, and normally, though, as I say, I always basically use this number here and I just walk like this where it's basically at mid level, not low, not real high. And then I can kind of just uh, normally, if you shoot straight, you'll get folks uh, just fine. You don't have to aim up. I've got my GA1 coupler on here. That just pops right on there with a 49 millimeter UV filter. These are all available in the description below. It does help the channel if you purchase using those links. So my settings for today would be at, uh, we are on manual mode and we are gonna go to, oh, my settings are off here. We're gonna go to one 400th of a second and we are gonna go to F, we're gonna go to F9 and uh, we are on ISO auto and that will max out at 1600 typically it shoots around 800 or so at these settings you could go at one five hundredth of a second if you're getting a lot of motion I'm just getting people walking so 400 typically works fine f9 I've got uh, I'm shooting snap focus only so that's not the full press snap that's where I've got the autofocus set at snap only so everything I shoot uh, it does not autofocus, it automatically just focuses, well it does autofocus, but it's snap focus 1.5 meter, and what that does is give me uh, basically at F9, 
I looked it up, gives me about 15 feet or so, which is maybe five meters, and that's all I really need. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Hopefully that explained everything to you. I'm gonna turn my display off to save some battery life here. And I don't use the image review at all. I mean, I will look back and see and what have you. How you doing, man? How you doing? All right. Yeah, I just I go around and take street photography, okay, just okay. to you know shoot interesting people on the street. <laughs> awesome. there you go. Okay, actually, I decided I do want to leave my display on because I need to be able to. Sometimes I like to be able to see what I am doing. It doesn't. It it might suck about fifty photos out I find with a battery I get if I don't have a display on I get 300 shots if I have the display on maybe 225 and that's fine okay a beautiful sunny day here so Let's see if we can find some people this afternoon there we go got an old dude over here I want to try to get what we come up with here. See the spot right here. I am on center weighted, not highlight weighted today. I'm on center weighted. Typically using Lightroom, I can pull down any any uh, highlights that we have. Not sure how that one will look. This is a situation where I'm just walking pointing the camera sideways and hoping that I get the people in the frame and I just keep walking again you could go up to 500 of a second I'm walking pretty fast but I seem to get the spokes on the bicycles pretty clear pretty sharp so okay let's see which way I want to go here oh, hey some people Right on. Do -do -do. There we go. Let's see what we get here. Not sure if any of those come out. We'll find out. Try to shoot a little upward just to see. Hopefully, get something interesting. Uh, here's another guy wandering along. Oh, out of the sunlight. Just missed the sunlight on that guy. Okay, we got a guy walking down here. Let me see if I can snag him. This one should be a good one. Well, never say they're going to be good because those are always the ones that end up out of the frame. Or... But I got the lighting right on this one, so let's see what we get. Keep my shadow out of it. Again, that should have been a good one. Those are always the ones that end up not coming out, right? We'll see. Let's 
So this is what we're dealing with today. If you saw this coming at you like this, this is typically how I would shoot. That'll scare you, won't it? I'm going to get off to the left side here and see if I can... Well, I'll get back to the left. Get this guy. Just guessing on all those. Okay, we got some people here. Hey! And we got some sunlight and some people walking across the street. So let's see what I can get out of this. I have in no way mastered my shadows by any means. Never quite know whether to shoot them in the weather faces in the shade and the sun. Looks like this would be a pretty cool way to do it, but I almost never get the right shot, the shot I want. So let's see what we get here. Now here's our rapper guy from previous videos. He wants to talk to you. Hey, rapper Can man. Hey, what's up? <laughs> well, that looks like Kevin Ducey. Okay, here comes the guy, sporting his Colts hat. Let me go over here. Cut him off on purpose there, of course. Oh, guy on a bike, cool. Not really doing anything, but... Let's see if that comes out. Uh -oh. Okay, so I'm gonna approach this girl up here with her GoPro on her Unipole. There's Abdul again. This guy's local radio guy. You've never had a stalker before, have you? <laughs> Dad, you street photography? Oh. It seems like every time I'm down here, you're walking by, so. <laughs> Good to Take care, man. Guy from the local radio station. Good dude. Oh, here's some bikers. Oh, this will be awesome. Oh, don't pull away, man. Hey, dude. Can I take your picture? Sure. Right on. There you go. Let me get down low and get something cool here. Cool. Let me get down low here. That's a bad bike, man. Thank you. Cool. There you go. It's all about the enjoyment you get out of it, man. Exactly. Right on, right on. Exactly. Can I get a shot of your bikes, man? And that is. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool, man. Did you build that or? I built it. Did you build that? You painted the gas tank. Let's get a close up there. Wow. Wow. Let me get a shot of you behind it here. I do street photography. Just walk around with a GoPro and put it on YouTube. What is this? Do you know what this is? What's that? Do you know what this was? With all the cars going past? Do you have an idea? You mean the cars, right? What do you mean? There was cars going around in a circle and some photographer. There. You know, it could have been a uh, memorial or something or a tribute. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see it. Are you guys from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't get down here too often, so I'm not really sure what they. Uh... That's cool. Let me get a shot from her. Right on, right on. Go ahead and face me here also. Let's see. Let me... What's that? Right on. It's pretty badass. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Okay, we got some major shadowing going on, so let me just see what we can uh, pull off here. Oh, dude with a dog on his bike. Hopefully one of those will come out. Oh, 
we got some cool light over there. Oh, here we go. I always see people in cool colors, but then I always end up making them into black and white for some reason. bright red top and this is where I have a dilemma. Does this end up being black and white? Does it end up being color? The brighter the top, the lighter it is in black and white. So I don't know. Let's, let's see. I need to get her in a reflection. Can I get her closer to that window? Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video. Certainly do appreciate you tuning in and checking it out. And we will be back for more in the next one. Until then, so long everybody.